Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've heard, but apparently Marvel is back. And no, this is not a Reaction Joe skit. This is what I'm being told. Marvel is so back that we are now back to praising the bare minimum. It's like it's 2016 all over again. Rejoice. Deadpool and Wolverine is smashing box office records. Robert Downey Jr. is returning to the MCU. And those two things alone have people jumping back on the bandwagon in droves. Marvel is untouchable once again, and the Marvel haters everywhere are in shambles. Let's discuss. So on the same weekend that the cinematic masterpiece, Deadpool and Wolverine, dropped, Marvel has decided to drop yet another bomb on us at San Diego Comic-Con. And this announcement has basically broken the internet. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What? That's right, Robert Downey Jr. is returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But there's a catch. He won't be playing Tony Stark. Downey walked out onto the stage at Hall H, decked out in a green suit. And it was revealed that he will be playing none other than the iconic Marvel villain, Doctor Doom. It was also revealed that the title of the upcoming 5th Avengers film will be Avengers Doomsday, which is expected to start shooting later next year. Goodbye Kang Dynasty, hello Doomsday. Shout out to Jonathan Majors for getting Robert Downey Jr. what is sure to be another massive payday. You about to cross some line. Guys, if all this wasn't epic enough, the panel also confirmed that the Russo brothers will be returning to direct Avengers 5 and 6. And this is most certainly not an act of desperation by Marvel or the Russo brothers, who haven't exactly achieved the same level of success since going their separate ways. No, this is about making sure the MCU continues to thrive for years to come. Nobody likes smart ass, all right? Marvel is doing exactly what they needed to do getting the fans excited again, and simultaneously making WB and DC look even more incompetent because they weren't able to capitalize on the MCU's down period. Kevin Feige understood the assignment. Go back to what worked before. Go get Tobey Maguire, Hugh Jackman, and Robert Downey Jr. while you're at it. Bring them all back and let the nostalgia carry you all the way to cinematic glory. As far as the rest of Hollywood goes, Pack it up. It was fun while it lasted. Any original ideas or fresh concepts you might have had coming down the pike? Don't even bother. Nobody wants to see that shit. Key jangles and fan service are the way of the future, and it's time that the film bros realize that. Anybody care about what I want? I do. Shut up. Get out. You see, when Marvel reigns supreme over the film industry like they did for so many years before, things like story take a backseat to spectacle. Because let's face it, Girls just want to have fun. Keep your criticisms and your negativity to yourself, and just let people enjoy things. Robert Downey Jr. just got done playing a villain in Oppenheimer after so many years of being the hero. It's only right that he brings some of that newly perfected villain energy back to the MCU. The Oscar bait work was fine for a couple of years. It got him what he wanted, something to put up on his trophy case. But now it's time for him to get back to what he does best. And as far as the choice of Doctor Doom as the villain, I mean it was the only real choice for a credible villain who's going to restore some prestige to this franchise. And we all know that Marvel Studios is great at bringing villains to life. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Bottom line, this wasn't going to go any other way than the way it ended up going. And based on what I'm seeing, I think a lot of people are here for it. So enjoy this Marvel fanbase, you earned it. Especially after these last couple of years of unspeakable hate speech you experienced at the hands of everyone. Now you can rub it in all of their faces because Marvel is back and it's here to stay. Y'all be cool. Got on.